All right, what's going on, guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing a video giving our thoughts, maybe a quick review and kind of set up, unboxing sort of, for the new NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the sewer layer diorama slash kinda playset. So here we have the box dudes. We just got ours in the uh, mail today. Stuff in Canada takes a little bit longer to uh, to get to us, but was really happy to go ahead and, uh, you know, get this one, something we've been waiting for for quite a while. Uh, it was supposed to be like a December type release, uh, almost into February now, but uh, just happy to finally um, pick this up. Yeah, what do you think? Are you excited to open the Turtles? The Turtles sewer layer playset? Yeah. So uh, here's the back of the box um, from the shipper. It looks like they made about 2,400 of these. So that's it. So if you were lucky enough to get one, there's only 2,400 of these um, from at least in terms of what was noted there, unless they have multiple lots, not sure. But that sounds about right, because I do know that there was a lot of people that were not really so um, you know enthused about this one once they found out the price, because it is a little bit pricey. But... If it's limited run, you can kind of understand with all the tooling required and everything that they had to do, you can kind of understand why that's the uh, the case. So here's the back of the box. Pretty cool. You get to see the, um, you know, the uh, living room, the layer living room. Uh, we got uh, Donatello's Techno Tips. I think it's just a guide on how to build it. And then you've got kind of the one they released before, which is the City, yeah. uh, the, uh, city Diorama. Yeah. And then the uh, layer uh, below. All right, dudes, so here we have the TMNT sewer layer living room diorama set all out of the packaging and all put together. It's not difficult to put together. There's like a few steps to it, I guess like four steps. You basically, you put the walls, you know, together, you put the base down, you snap it in, you put the piping around, and then you just basically put on the, uh, the wall stuff, um, stop sign, you know, the uh, painting, um, the mirror, all the rest of the stuff, and then you can pretty much put down the furniture and put your figures in the uh, in the set. Um, it's a pretty good size. It's actually maybe bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Uh, at least it feels bigger. Uh, it does. It, it feels like you're getting you're getting a good size playset here. Like you're getting a good size diorama here. It's um, bigger than I thought it would be. Now, I did order the accessory set with this, but my accessory set has not shipped yet, so I don't have the TV that would, you know, that will go here later. Um, the the detailing on the couches, I think, is really nice, or the couch, and then the uh, the blue chair right here, um, really good. Um, you know, very cartoony, it's got kind of those, those lines that are sort of like not exactly straight, they're kind of, you know, curved and everything, giving it that almost like a Simpsons or, you know, Turtles, Simpsons, couch, 80s, 90s animation kind of style, whereas, you know, nowadays they use a lot more uh, CG for everything, right? Um, so it just has a different kind of look and feel to it. I've worked in a few of the characters here, a few of the Turtles here. Got Donatello there. We got Michelangelo coming in with some, um, you know, weird pizza. Um, pizza by Pizza by the Shred, right? Uh, Michelangelo, Michelangelo, Michelangelo. We got um, Raphael and Mona Lisa here. They're hanging out. They're looking for a place to uh, to chill. So maybe the couch, but there's no TV yet. So that's kind of boring, right? Uh, Leonardo here coming in. And um, these are the lighter. I have the lighter green turtles here. I like them better. There's I, I have the darker green like detective uh, uh, turtle set, the four pack as well too. But I do prefer the uh, lighter green, which is more like season three, four and kind of onward, whereas the, like season one, they're kind of darker in terms of the uh, coloration on the turtles. So the, the detailing on the set is really, really nice. Um, they, it looks like they use some kind of like uh, maybe a spray um, because the, they've got different, you know, browns and, um, you know, darker kind of tones worked in here, some splatter here on mine at the, uh, at the front, which is kind of cool. 
some splatter at the back there too. Um, it's just kind of like a, what, like a gray, gray kind of working in. The wall is really good. The brickwork looks awesome. The plastic feels really heavy, heavy duty and, and thick and doesn't feel like it's going to snap or break or anything like that. It feels really, um, you know, formidable. Like you could put something on top of it and it's probably not going to bow over time or anything like that. There are dents in the wall and like just a lot of detailing they've done. They've even done the bricks in a way where they're not exactly like all straight. They're kind of like curved almost like animation. They're kind of like fluffy almost. They look kind of like, you know, animation fluffy almost, which is a weird way to describe them, but they're not exactly like straight. They're kind of like, you know, off, uh, which is good because that's what you want from the cartoon. You've got this uh, stick uh, part here for what is this, the plaster or concrete that's supposed to be whatever that's supposed to be uh, on there on the wall from the uh, animated series. You know, the stop sign and everything, and it all looks uh, looks really good. And then you do also get this kind of like a top piece here, which is um, supposed to go, it's like a foam. It's a really heavy duty, um, almost feels like a double type of foam or pretty thick. Um, not sure if this is like maybe half an inch or something like that, or maybe it's, is it a full inch? Maybe, almost. Uh, three quarters of an inch thick, um, you know, good detailing here, wanted picture here, uh, and kind of the concrete, uh, there, um, manhole cover there with, uh, maybe, I don't know who that would be, maybe Leatherhead's eyes or something there, or, or somebody, not sure, and it's supposed to just kind of sit, like, at the top, like this, um, mine's a bit bowed out the sides for some reason, maybe it's just the way I built it or something, um, but whatever, it's fine, this does, if, if you add like a light here, it's probably going to be okay. Or if you, if you run like a light strip across or something like that, that would be all right. Um, I'm not going to use this. You can put the, the diorama on top as well too. The uh, street scene diorama they released, you can kind of put it on top and kind of stack it up like that. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty good. I'm not going to use this because I have like a, uh, you know, a sewer that I've kind of built myself here to the right, which will try to fit this in and see what it looks like in a minute. Um, but I'm not going to do it like a straight up and down. Mine's kind of uh, more horizontal. It's like 12 feet horizontal. So let's take it and we'll work it into the uh, uh, overall diorama that we have at the right side here. And we'll show you what it looks like in inside of the other diorama that we built in anticipation for the set and just kind of like for all the NECA turtles uh, to be displayed on. All right, dude. So we went ahead and took out all the figures from the bottom level here and some from the top as well, uh, two for the Turtles uh, Diorama. You guys have seen this uh, a few times. I've done a good number of videos for this. If you haven't, they're in the channel. Just click the channel name there, uh, type in layer or sewer. You'll, you'll find them um, when we built this and everything. So originally this was like a, a, a city display. This year we went ahead and lifted it up, did an under part with a, um, you know, some different color bricks, very like cartoony, almost video gamey. Uh, got some different figures in here, like the Super 7 and stuff like that. Got the water kind of going uh, throughout, right? And um, uh, sewer surfing, you know, type of stuff going on here with the Super 7. So I moved the Super 7 to kind of the right side. And um, got a few Playmates, uh, you know, uh, stuff mixed in uh, here, you know, with it and everything. So it's kind of like, you know, the display and how we have it all set up. There's the NECA. Uh, street scene diorama. So like I said, I won't be stacking it because that's kind of already on here. And then we have the, um, here's the turtles are kind of going up from the bottom level here. Uh, this is like the first version of the turtles that NECA released, so have a use for them. And then kind of coming up through uh, there to the manhole cover to the street uh, level here. Okay, so that's, so that's what we got going on. It's about 12 feet long for the display, um, a couple of feet deep. And then the bottom level here is 18 inches high. So in terms of the sewer layer set, we've worked in here now. I took out the green. I moved the green back or back so it doesn't kind of sit there. It kind of like uh, sits level. So got the lights at the top. They're light strips that run across the top just to light it up because it gets dark underneath. Um, okay, so I wasn't sure kind of how this was going to fit, if it was going to fit. But I figured, you know, it's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and, and get it anyway and see if it sort of, you know, if it works with the display. So here from the side view is kind of like, I got stuff everywhere because I took a lot of stuff, a lot of the figures off of this. Like a lot of the figures were on this from the NECA stuff and everything. I took it all down so I could kind of work this in. I also have support uh, beams here. Or they're just like wood, right? Um, 
cut to the right height to keep the plywood here from bowing. Uh, so I put it in the middle there because these are four feet each, right? So one there in the middle on the orange and purple one, one there on the blue and green one. And then we had another one here in the middle, but it, it doesn't fit with this. So I got to shift it over. I don't want to cut it because if I cut it and put it on the diorama, it's going to like, it's going to probably mess up the base or something. And this thing is a pricey item. I don't want to mess with it really at all or do anything any customization or anything weird like that with it just because of what it is and its rarity and everything. So does it work? Um, so we got the stream going through here for the sewer. So the stream comes in, goes down there, and it goes all the way down the extent of it, all the way to the other uh, end down here, which looks pretty, uh, pretty awesome, right? So that's pretty darn cool. Got the meeting module there and... Uh, some of the other classic Playmate stuff just kind of worked in here. So, all right, so here we have it right here. Uh, does it work for my display? Unfortunately, no, it doesn't work. Uh, at least I won't be keeping it like this to have it in the display like this. As awesome as the set is by itself, it doesn't, it doesn't fit really with my overall aesthetic of what I have going on here. The, the height is, you know, and, and I kind of knew this going in, the height is shorter, but I thought, uh, you know, maybe it's okay because you're kind of looking down at it from out here or something. Maybe that's all right. Um, yeah, I put just put some different, you know, characters in here. You got like all the way there. The other thing with me that kind of messes me up is that these sides are not finished. They're kind of like, um, you know, like that. So maybe if you get another one, you kind of stack them down, then that could kind of work if you have like uh, Donatello's lab and you kind of move it down like that or something like that, that could kind of work. Um, the kitchen and stuff like that. So I'm not sure. The problem with my setup is I need this. I kind of need this about right here. So I could kind of put it to the side for a little bit, but eventually I want this right in the dead center. I don't want this support being over here. If I get the kitchen and the other stuff, I kind of move it down. Somehow that has to get in there. I have to put it in the middle or something. Uh, maybe I can kind of put it in between them, but because the height doesn't match exactly in the way I've kind of done my uh, setup, I don't, th just to see how it looks and stuff, it just doesn't look right in my set. That said, this is an awesome, um, awesome diorama. I don't regret getting it or anything like that because I think it is fantastic. Yes, the price is steep, but it's about the price of like a Hot Toys figure, really, because Hot Toys figures nowadays, you know, they're going for about 300 or 400 for some of the more premium ones. And, you know, um, that's just what that's just what it is. So I think it's worth the price. I think it's really awesome for people who want to have like a, you know, a, a sewer diorama and they don't want to put the effort into building something like what we've got going on here. Um, you know, you need a lot of space for something like this, too. So um, I'm going to keep I'm going to hang on to this for right now. Uh, I don't regret buying it or anything. I'll Maybe I'll put it in a different spot on our uh, on our collection. But unfortunately, it's just not going to fit in the sewer display the way I kind of have it in, in my situation. Uh, I think it just looks better. It, as cool as it is and everything, I think it just looks better without it, to be honest with you. The colors kind of match better and everything. So it's sort of what it is, right? See, the thing is, is if you do it yourself, right, you can kind of make it to whatever size you kind of want, you know, and kind of can fit it into your environment, given your you know, how much room you have and everything like that, it can kind of work that way. If you just get this, you kind of like get this, you, you put the top piece, maybe you put the uh, city on top of it, and you've got kind of a straight up and down type of of display, and that's what you, that's kind of what you have. So um, yeah, uh, awesome set, really, really cool set for what you get. But, um, you know, for me, I don't know if I'm going to be able to really, you know, do much with it. I may have to part with it at some point, let it go, give somebody a good deal on it or something like that. So anyway, uh, that's the review. I guess I'll give the set uh, an 8 out of 10. It is really awesome and everything. Nothing wrong with NECA or anything like that. Just in my particular situation, it's probably not going to work. But before you leave, if you don't mind, thumb the video up below, uh, share, uh, favorite, subscribe at the bottom if you're new to the channel. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. What do you think about this Diorama set? Very divisive, I think, in the Turtle community, this release. Um, I, th I think it's great, you know, for people who can kind of 
can fit it in, have a spot for it and everything, and that it works for us. So very cool. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again soon for another video. As always, it's Trev, and I'm saying peace later, guys.